Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Old School with you here. And we're going to take a look once again at Disney Infinity. And this is the Labyrinth Toy Box. And it's first playthrough. My girlfriend is going to take a whack at this thing. And I'll give you a little bit of the uh, action as it's taking place in here. She asked not to have her, you know, face recorded or anything. Had voice recording. She just wanted to play the game. And uh, I agree to that. So you're just going to hear the raw gameplay footage. And I will just tell you how things went and where things went right, where things went wrong. Still a little bit of tweaking left to do on this game, even though it seemed like it was fixed and working perfectly. Uh, one of the things about Disney Infinity, I have to say sadly, is it doesn't always pan out the way it should. And this is one of those cases, so. Let's see how this turns out. Okay, so right off the bat, the thunder and lightning sound effects, they're working out perfectly fine. She has 15 minutes to find her little brother in the castle and will rescue him from the evil prince. So right now we're in the actual labyrinth, which is the beginning part of the game. I was going to put some smoke effects in here as well to give it that eeriness and all that, but I just thought there was going to be too much smoke, especially once you get to the bog of eternal stench. Now... Even I, when I get into this part of the map, will get lost. It, it's impossible not to. And that was the goal. I mean, you're supposed to be lost in a maze. So I would say probably on average six minutes minimum. Unless somebody gets really lucky and makes all the right turns. But I would say somewhere in the ballpark is six minutes minimum to get through the first part alone. So here she is trying to find her way through. Dead end. Got to turn around. Keep on looking. She decided to be Judy Hopps. Now that is probably not a bad move because with Judy, you've got that super high leap. Not high enough to get over the wall of the hedges, unfortunately. But still a pretty high leap. My concern was going to be how well this would work out for her once you get towards the latter stages because extra high leaps don't hurt you, they hinder you. Now, if you saw our prior, prior stream, you'll see that I did a toy box that I set up just to teach her how to play the game. So it had some of the skill challenges and things like that just to get used to the mechanics of it. So I already had her play through that several times. She got pretty good at it very quickly. And uh, so now she's in th this mode right here, of just trying to figure her way through the maze. And as you can see, the clock's down to 13 minutes now. And quite honestly, she is nowhere near the castle. <laughs> you will end up circling back on yourself several times. But again, if you've seen the movie, then you understand that's pretty much exactly what we're going for. Complete confusion. Things look one way, but they're another. I had those little short walls put in there. That you, like right there, just walked right past it, didn't even notice it. And I have to slow her down at this point and tell her, listen, you're passing things with these super leaps and stuff. Just just chill out and check everything. Because all these, some of the bigger cuts and openings like that. Okay, she's made it to the bog of eternal stench. And again, if you've seen the movie, you know, man, you don't want to get your stuff on there. Now, in our case, we had to use lava because that's what I have. I suppose I could have done, in hindsight now, a kill switch or a kill box. And I could have gone with water, but uh, made it look a little murkier. But I was in a lava mood, that's all I can tell you. Everyone knows lava is bad. And again, she's going to have to now find a way to hop. Oh, mercy. Not that time gonna have to find a way to hop her way all the way down oh 
to that one in the middle that has the diamond on it. There you go, the little arrow cursor. And will she make it this time? Yeah, no, she overshot the target. Try again. And bam, this time she makes it. So the rocks are no longer moving, the clouds begin to part, and there is our castle. Now all she has to do is find her brother. Now I've told her already, given her a little bit of insight, that the yellow dot on the map is where her brother is. Probably didn't need any health sparks at this point in time, but you probably won't need them in the match anyway, or in the game anyway. So now trying to get to that yellow. Just set off some enemies in the area. But before that, we've got a gem, and it's giving us some extra time on the clock, which right now is a good thing. So she's trying to avoid these guys and get to her brother, but there's too many of them to avoid, so she decides she's going to have to fight some. And again, she was already playing in that test box earlier on, so she's familiar with the basic mechanics, especially with Judy Hops, because that's who she was using. She just learned that you can pick up things and throw them. Didn't understand that was going to be part of it. Probably should have put that in the text test box now that I think about it. Oh, that's got to hurt. Judy's whooping that ass. Now, she is spending a lot of time in this fight right now, and time is not an ally. We're under 10 minutes and still got some ground to cover here. Still got to find the key, get it back. Now, she doesn't know. Oh, about the floor traps. <laughs> but she does now. So she elects just to kind of dance around him. But again, she has neglected the stairway at first because she missed it. She did not see it. But that's not bad. I mean, you want it to be tough to locate things. Uh, this is the castle. Again, having seen the movie, if you have, then you know. Jennifer Connelly gets all sorts of things thrown her direction to throw her off the scent so she cannot be successful. And somehow baby brother is outside of his cage. So that's something I've got to work on. If you remember during the build, I thought I had this beat because the cage is already there. And then once you make it to that middle block, got herself a little bit more time back. Once you make it to that middle block in the uh, bog of eternal stench, that's when it's supposed to do the replayer, put the baby inside the cage. Now that did not happen. I'm not sure entirely why. I've got a theory. And my theory is that the baby spawns on top of the cage, which that sucks. So right now she's trying to figure out the where the key is to get her brother out of the cage that he's not really in, but he's supposed to be. Oopsie. Oh, no. One away from dead. Now, I've got to tell you, my girlfriend is not a truly serious gamer. She'll tell you that she's not a gamer, although she has come to grips over the last several months with the fact that, yes, she is. She actually bought a PS4. She played Uncharted 4 to completion in just over two days. So maybe three sessions, which is pretty admirable. She's the one that got me into Far Cry. So she's a gamer when she wants to be. Anyway, she thoroughly enjoyed Disney Infinity. I 
I might want to put some blocks up there just so people wouldn't think to go that route again. And we're still looking for some more information about this save wizard. Um, I'm going to look into it. I'm going back to work this week, finally. Uh, if I can put some money away and feel a little bit safer, then I'll probably look into getting a save wizard myself so I can have a better understanding of it. All right, so here we go. Oopsie. Under eight minutes, it's doable, but things have to start going well. Close call right there. Uh, another thing I want to change out here, and that is the ball. Um, I think we're going to try and put the Mickey key if possible, because right now she's got the Mickey key, the kingdom key rather, and the ball both, and it's just not working that way. One of those two items has to go. So she's negotiating pretty well here, getting across the bridge. She's not at all a fan of the rails. And again, that double jump is what's killing her. And I, I keep telling her, don't hold the X button. That's what's hurting you right now. Just tap it. But again, first time player, you're going to have a learning curve, make some mistakes along the way. And she's kind of running into that at this point. And this is by far the big challenge moment of the game is getting through this to get that key. Consider this the boss battle if you want. Three, two, one. And I think this freaked her out a little bit here three, in this three, two, one count. Two, That's one. another thing I have to fix. It should only do it three, once and stop. Two, one. Close call right here. Boom. There we go. And close again, she makes that. But here is where things are gonna go south. This is not easy. I mean, the key makes you fat, you know, or makes you a large object and very hard to get across. Well, guess what? You gotta go back and get the key now, girl. Oh, shoot, he got squashed. And another thing I've gotta work on is by going back to get the key, which automatically takes away, I think, a minute off the clock. That's when the, that's why the three count begins to let you know that you're losing time. And I think every time you go back in that box now to get another key, it's taking another minute. I don't know if I can feel comfortable with that. I think we got to make that a one and done as well. Now you've got to hit that Three, button. Two, one. Oh, there's a key. Three, two, one. Let's get better with practice. And she Three, ran out of time, did two, not save her baby brother, one. even though he wasn't really in the cage to have Three, to be saved. Two, one. Three. So at this two, point, I'm taking over one. because she's a little frustrated. Three, two, one. And. Three, two, one. Well, not yet. Very Three, soon I'm taking over. As soon as you see the aiming one. rectangle show up. Three, two, so I keep one. telling her, use the left two to aim. And I am. No, you're not. Three, two, one. Finally, Three, ends up hitting two, it. Now she's got the key, one. and we're going to try again here. But Three, two, one. Yee. Yeah, I think that might be where she said I'm done. Look at this, walking on lava. I'm walking on lava. Hey. Three, two, one. Three, yeah, she still has it two, at this point, but one. the frustration is real. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three. Two, yep, definitely got to cut that audio out, though. Three, two, ha, one. Three, two, ha, one. Three, two, one. 
<laughs> She's just about had it all right now. <laughs> two, one. Three, two, one. Three. She's originally two, from Poland, so I've one. learned every Polish curse word Three, there is at this point two, in the game. One. Three, two, one. One of the things I was telling her is to stay near the two, edge because one. I think that the replayer wasn't Three, playing necessarily two, because Judy was one. standing in the way. Oh, that's got to be where she gave it up. Three, two, one. No, not yet. Three, two, one. Well, it's coming soon, Three, I can tell you that. Two, one. Three, two, one. Three, My two, God, I got to fix one. that. Three, two, one. Little surprise that the pendulums are almost identical. They should be on opposite swing. She waited too long right now. Alright, she's away from the go up. Okay. Oh, oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. Oh! I'm not sure why that didn't make it through, but that's definitely where she gave up. Yeah, that's me now. So I'm showing her the reticle so she understands, and she's like, oh, okay, whatever, I'm gonna go get something to drink. But even me, you know, being a. Uh, Pretty competent is the Infinity player, I think. Three, two, one. Three, Have a lot of trouble two, getting that key one. across to the other side. Three, two, one. Which is good. I mean, I didn't want it to be easy. Oh, bam. Three, two, one. Three, and two, I can't remember one. at the moment. Uh, I think it was a circle button two, that was what I want, one. just to switch directions on the rail. Three, two, one. Oh, sheesh. Three, Brutal. Two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, so I feel like during my initial testing, getting the key back three, across was nowhere two, near as big a challenge as it turns out to be. When you start to feel how tough it is, you really try to make the most of the moment. So I was trying to get the timing of getting back across with the key where the mashers wouldn't mash me, but they hadn't gone completely back up, which also didn't leave me the space I need to get Judy and the key both on the rail. So here I'm showing her the double jump versus the super Three, jump. Two, one. Huh. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. One. Three, two, one. Now I'm not sure if the kingdom Three, key two, will one. trigger that. Oh damn. Three, two, one. Will trigger the uh, Three, infinity button. Two, one. Three, so I'll probably two, end up getting rid one. of the kingdom key and keeping Three, the ball because that does work. One. I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna wait for it to go all the way back up. And it is doable. But boy, is it snug. And now I have her take over again from this point. So clearly. It is achievable, but there are some uh, bugs to be worked out, and I will be doing that in uh, probably right after I get done doing this video, because now it's bugging me.
And I want to put some blocks up there so that you're not... Or maybe I need to get rid of that one so you can go down the stairs with the key. That might be the solution to that. As she makes her way back towards the holding cell area that doesn't really hold anything. And that could have just been a one-time fluke, which is something else I'm going to be testing out. Because the way I set up that replayer, there was absolutely no reason that Toby shouldn't be inside that cage. But as you can see, Toby's wandering around aimlessly. And there it is. Had she been able to do it in under 15 minutes, there would have been a celebration, there would have been a party, people would be dancing in the streets. But unfortunately, that's not the way it turned out. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you again when we're under construction.